Hello friends. In this video, you will learn about how your habits determine your performance in the long term. Despite knowing all this, you often fall into the trap and repeat your bad habits. But that's not how you're going to stay successful. In this video, I'm going to share with you 27 habits that are killing you slowly and how you can stop them from ruining your life. Before we get to the main part, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates to better habit formation tricks and strategies. Also, like this video for YouTube algorithms. Let's get back to the video. 1. Sitting for long hours. There's nothing worse than feeling exhausted after sitting in an office all day. But if you're like most people, you're probably sitting for hours on end every day. And while sitting is necessary at times, it's not always the best way to stay healthy. In fact, sitting for long periods of time can lead to a number of health problems, including diabetes, obesity, and heart disease. Not to mention, it can also cause serious pain in the lower back and other regions of the body. So if you're looking to improve your health, it's important to switch up your routine and get some exercise instead of sitting all day. Not only will this help you feel energized and refreshed, but it'll also reduce the risk of developing these health problems in the first place. So go out and enjoy a walk in the park or hit the gym. Anything that gets you moving will be a welcome change. 2. Bad body posture. Bad body posture is the number one cause of neck, shoulder, and back pain. Not only is it uncomfortable, but it also causes chronic inflammation, which can lead to more serious health problems. If you're suffering from any of these conditions, you need to address your bad body posture ASAP. Here are a few simple tips to help you improve your posture. Keep your head and neck aligned throughout the day. This will help to reduce the strain on your neck and spine. Avoid crossing your arms. This position puts pressure on your shoulders and creates tension in your neck and spine. Stop hunching your shoulders. This position causes your spine to curve forward, which can lead to neck and shoulder pain. Keep your back straight. This will reduce the pressure on your discs and vertebrae in your spine. 3. Spending before earning. There's a saying that goes something like this. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy stuff, and that's pretty close to the same thing. And that's certainly true when it comes to spending. When we spend money before we earn it, we're not only draining our bank account, but we're also robbing ourselves of happiness. When we earn money, we can use it to purchase things that make us happy. This is why it's so important to learn how to save money. If you can learn how to save money, you'll be able to enjoy the benefits of spending without putting yourself into debt or ruining your financial future. There are a few simple tips that will help you save money and improve your financial situation. First, make sure you're paying yourself first. This means setting aside money each month to your savings account or investment portfolio. This will help you build up a reserve of money that you can use when you need it, like when you need to buy a car or take care of unexpected expenses. Second, make sure you're using your credit card in a responsible way. Don't spend more than you can afford to pay back, and don't use your card for frivolous items like luxury vacations or expensive clothes. Finally, establish a budget and stick to it. This will help you track your 4. Excessive snacking. There's no denying that excessive snacking is a problem in the world today. It's become so common that it's become known as the new normal. But what is excessive snacking, and how can you avoid it? Basically, excessive snacking refers to eating more than the recommended amount of food in one sitting. This can be anything from eating a huge bag of chips to eating an entire pizza. The problem with excessive snacking is that it's unhealthy and it can lead to weight gain and other health problems. Not to mention, it's often addictive. That's why it's so important to try to avoid it. The best way to do that is to set realistic goals for yourself and stick to them. Then you'll know exactly how much food you should be eating in one sitting, and you won't be tempted to overindulge. If you do happen to overindulge, don't beat yourself up. Just try to make sure that next time, you eat smaller amounts instead of bigger ones. By following these simple tips, you can avoid excessive snacking and live a healthier lifestyle overall. 5. Lack of social activities. Lack of social activities can have a negative impact on your mental and emotional health. In fact, it's been shown to increase the risk of depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. When you don't have any opportunities to socialize, you start to feel left out and isolated. This can lead to feelings of loneliness and depression, which in turn can increase your risk of developing mental health issues. Fortunately, there are ways to combat this problem. One way is to find social activities that you enjoy, 
whether that means joining a club, going out for drinks with friends, or participating in a hobby. Another way is to make friends with people who share your interests. This can be a challenge, but it's worth it if you want to stay healthy and happy. 6. Too much mobile and computer time. Too much mobile and computer time can be a major problem for kids and adults. It can lead to addiction, sleep deprivation, and even mental health problems. Mobile and computer time should be used in moderation. It's important to set boundaries for how much time kids and adults spend using these devices. And it's also important to find ways to spend time without using mobile and computer screens. This can include playing outdoors, going on walks, or simply spending time with friends and family. If you or someone you know is struggling with mobile or computer addiction, please talk to a professional. There are treatments available that can help people overcome their addiction and live healthier life. 7. Too less and too much sleep. Too little or too much sleep can have serious consequences. Too little sleep can lead to mood swings, fatigue, and a decrease in productivity. Too much sleep, on the other hand, can lead to a host of other problems, like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. The best way to avoid these problems is to get the amount of sleep that's right for you. That means figuring out how many hours of sleep you need each night, and sticking to that schedule. If you find that you're struggling to get enough sleep, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor about a suitable treatment plan. There's always a way to improve your health and well-being, and getting enough sleep is one of the key steps in achieving this. 8. Overuse of medication. Overuse of medication is a serious problem that's taking a toll on our health. Countless people are taking drugs to treat conditions that don't really need to be treated with medication in the first place. A recent study found that over half of American adults take at least one drug for a condition that isn't really a disease. And this problem is only getting worse. The study found that the number of people taking prescription drugs for non-medical reasons has quadrupled in the last 20 years. The consequences of overuse of medication are devastating. Not only is it leading to larger healthcare costs, but it's also causing major damage to our bodies. Many drugs are addictive, and when they're taken in excess, they can cause serious side effects. These side effects can include addiction, liver damage, and even death. So if you're looking for ways to improve your health and reduce your risk of disease, make sure to avoid overuse of medication. Instead, use natural methods like nutrition and exercise to treat your conditions. This will not only help you achieve your goals, but it will also be healthy for you. 9. Not enough exercise. Skipping exercise is a big mistake that many people make. Skipping exercise not only harms your health, but it can also have adverse effects on your weight. When you skip exercise, your body starts to store more fat. This is because your muscles stop getting the necessary protein and other nutrients they need to function properly. Skipping exercise can also lead to chronic diseases, like diabetes, heart disease, and even cancer. So if you're serious about losing weight, make sure to include a regular dose of exercise in your routine. Not only will this help you stay healthy, but it'll also help you lose weight faster. 10. Staying in unhealthy marriage. If you're thinking of staying in an unhealthy marriage, you might be wondering how it's possible to do it. After all, it sounds like such a bad idea. The truth is, it's not always easy to leave a marriage that's been unhealthy for you. But if you're determined to make it work, there are a few things you can do. For starters, you can try to stay positive. This may be difficult, but it's important to maintain a positive attitude if you want to stay in the marriage. You should also try to communicate with your spouse. This doesn't mean airing your grievances constantly, but communicating your concerns and thoughts about the marriage. And finally, don't rely on your spouse to make the decision to leave, make that decision yourself. If you're unhappy in your marriage, it's time to take action and get out. 11. Skipping sunlight. Skipping sunlight is a popular trend among young people these days. It's become a trendy way to avoid the sun, and for good reason, skipping sunlight can actually be harmful to your health. When you skip sunlight, you're putting yourself at risk for skin cancer. Skipping sunlight can also cause wrinkles and age spots to develop earlier in life, and it can even lead to eye problems. In addition, skipping sunlight can increase your risk of developing Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, and other types of dementia. So if you're looking to avoid the sun, make sure you're getting enough sunlight, both in direct sunlight and through exposure to sunlight throughout the day. And if you're skipping sunlight to avoid looking healthy and young, be sure to remember that you're actually risking your health in the process. 12. Negative thinking. 
Negative thinking can be a real drag. It can undermine your confidence and lead to negative emotions like anxiety and depression. But there's hope. If you can learn to challenge your negative thoughts, you can start to change the way you think and feel. The first step is recognizing when negative thinking is happening. When you start to notice yourself thinking negatively, take a step back and ask yourself what's motivating that thought. Is it based on facts or on what you're afraid of? Often, the answer is simply fear, something that's easy to overcome with a little courage. If you're able to identify your fear, you can start to challenge it. This might involve changing your thinking pattern, or even talking to someone about your concerns. Once you've started to change the way you think, it will become easier and easier to keep that positive mindset going. So don't be afraid to challenge your negative thoughts, it might just be the first step on the road to a brighter future. 13. Taking too much sugar or salt. Did you know that taking too much sugar and salt can be harmful to your health? Both sugar and salt are high in calories, and overconsuming them can cause weight gain and other health problems. Sugar is especially dangerous because it's addicting, once you start eating too much of it, it's hard to stop. And salt is even worse, it's full of sodium, which can increase your blood pressure and lead to other health problems. So if you're watching your weight, make sure to avoid taking too much sugar or salt. And if you do happen to take too much of either sugar or salt, be sure to take it easy on the portions and drink plenty of water to help flush it out of your system. 14. Overworking. Too much work can be damaging to your health, both physically and mentally. Overworking can lead to stress, anxiety, and depression, all of which can have negative effects on your health and well-being. It can also lead to problems with your sleep, your social life, and your relationships. In fact, research has shown that overworking is one of the top causes of workplace stress in the UK. So if you're feeling stressed out at work, don't wait, take action and talk to your boss about ways to reduce your workload. And if you're feeling overwhelmed by your workload, consider hiring a professional help. There are plenty of resources available to help you get through this tough time. 15. Standing for long hours. If you're working long hours at your job, you're likely standing for hours on end. When you stand for long periods of time, your muscles get tired and you may experience pain in your feet, knees, and back. In addition, standing for too long can cause dehydration, which can lead to fatigue and dizziness. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to take a break and sit down. You can also try using a standing desk to reduce the amount of time you spend standing. In the long run, standing for long periods of time can lead to serious health problems. So make sure to take regular breaks and stay healthy and limber, it'll make your job a lot easier. 16. Holding grudges. Holding grudges can be a costly habit, not just in terms of emotional pain, but in terms of physical health as well. Studies have shown that holding grudges can increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even death. Holding grudges also affects your ability to functioning optimally both mentally and emotionally. It can lead to feelings of bitterness and hatred, which can affect your ability to enjoy life and make positive relationships. Holding grudges also leads to negative thoughts and feelings, which can damage your mental and emotional health. So if you're thinking of holding onto a grudge, think about the long-term consequences it will have on your health and happiness. It's better to let go and move on. 17. Overeating. Overeating is a huge problem, and it's one that's getting worse by the day. In the US, obesity rates have more than tripled in the past 30 years, and it's now the leading cause of death in children and adults. Obesity is also a major contributor to other health problems, like heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. And the effects of overeating aren't limited to the individual, overeating can also lead to obesity in the population as a whole. In fact, studies have shown that obesity rates are highest in countries with high rates of obesity. So if you're looking to help fight the obesity epidemic, start by educating yourself about the dangers of overeating. Then make sure you're eating healthy foods and avoiding foods that are unhealthy and addictive. And most importantly, don't beat yourself up if you slip up from time to time, after all, eating healthy foods is a gradual process that takes time and effort. 18. Cheating on your partner. If you're considering cheating on your partner, you may be wondering if it's really worth it. After all, cheating can lead to a lot of negative consequences. But, as with anything else, there are always pros and cons to consider. The main pro of cheating is that it can spice up your relationship. If you're bored with your relationship or feel like you're not getting the same level of excitement from it that you used to, cheating may be the answer. On the other hand, 
Cheating can also lead to a lot of emotional turmoil. If you're cheating on your partner, you're likely to feel guilty and ashamed. This can cause a lot of tension in the relationship, and it may even lead to divorce. So, before you decide to cheat, make sure you weigh the pros and cons carefully. 19. Wearing high heels. There's no doubt about it, high heels are bad for you. They can cause pain in your feet, ankles, and knees, and they can also lead to other health problems, like arthritis. In fact, high heels are so dangerous that they're even banned in some workplaces. If you're looking to improve your health and reduce the risk of injury, ditch the high heels and try a different style of shoe. You'll be glad you did. 20. Not relaxing. There's nothing like a good relaxing massage to set your mind and body at ease. Massages are a great way to relieve stress, tension, and pain. Not only that, but they also promote relaxation and peace of mind. What's more, massages are a great way to reduce anxiety and depression. In fact, studies have shown that massages can help to reduce feelings of stress, anxiety, and depression by up to 75%. So if you're looking for a way to relax, give a massage a try. You won't regret it. 21. Always having aggressive behavior. There's something about being aggressive that seems to make us feel really good. It's like we're in control, we're the ones who are making the other person do what we want. And, unfortunately, this kind of behavior can have serious consequences. For one, it can lead to violence and aggression. And, more often than not, this violence and aggression is directed towards other people. It's a cycle that's hard to break, the more aggressive we become, the more aggressive others become in return. And once violence and aggression start to take over our lives, it's hard to stop. So what can we do to break this cycle and become more peaceful? One thing we can do is learn about the effects of aggression. This will help us understand why we behave the way we do, and it will also help us to recognize when we're starting to become aggressive. Once we know what we're doing, it's easier to control our reactions and emotions. And, as long as we're actively working to break the cycle of aggression, our lives will be much more peaceful and contented. 22. Living in unclean environment. Unhealthy environments have a number of negative effects, including increased risk of asthma, allergies, and other respiratory problems. These negative effects are especially pronounced in children, who are more sensitive to environmental pollutants. In addition, a dirty environment can lead to an increase in infectious diseases, such as the flu. And finally, a dirty environment can also make it difficult to breathe and maintain a healthy weight. So if you're looking for a healthy environment to live in, make sure to clean up your act. 23. Lack of purpose. When people lack purpose in their lives, it has negative effects on their physical and emotional health. Physical health suffers when people don't have a sense of direction or purpose in their lives. They may become overweight or develop health problems such as high cholesterol or hypertension. Emotional health also suffers when people don't have a sense of direction or purpose in their lives. They may become depressed or stressed. Lack of purpose can also have negative effects on relationships. When people don't have a sense of purpose, they may not feel connected to others. This can lead to problems in the relationship, such as arguments or breakdowns in trust. So what can you do to solve the problem of lack of purpose? There are a number of ways that you can develop a sense of purpose in your life. You can start by taking on a new challenge, which will give you a sense of direction and motivation. You can also find ways to help others, which will give you a sense of purpose and satisfaction. And lastly, you can find ways to connect with nature, which will give you a sense of purpose and sense of calm. 24. Working in night shift. Working in night shift can have a number of negative effects on your health. For starters, it can lead to fatigue, insomnia, and mood swings. It can also increase your risk of developing cancer and other health problems. In addition, working in night shift can also affect your reproductive health, you're more likely to suffer from birth defects and infertility. So if you're thinking of working in night shift, be sure to consider the negative effects it has on your health. If you decide to take the plunge, be prepared for the consequences. 25. Excessive alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption is a major problem in the United States, and it's not only causing problems for individual drinkers, it's also causing serious negative consequences for society as a whole. In fact, alcohol consumption is responsible for over 100,000 deaths each year in the U.S., and it's also responsible for a number of other serious problems. For example, alcohol consumption is linked to a number of brain injuries and strokes, and it can also lead to social problems like violence and substance abuse. 
So if you're drinking excessively, be aware of the risks it poses to your health and to society as a whole. If you're worried about your drinking habits, don't hesitate to seek help. There are many resources available that can help you change your behavior and improve your life. 26. Mindlessly taking vitamins and supplements. Many people take vitamins and supplements without really understanding the effects they're having on their body. But, as with anything else, taking vitamins and supplements mindlessly can have some negative consequences. For example, if you're taking a multivitamin without food, you're likely to miss out on important nutrients. This could lead to deficiencies in key areas of your body, like your immune system. And, of course, if you're not getting the nutrients you need from your food, you're going to have to supplement them with vitamins and supplements. This can be a risky proposition, because supplements are often full of unnecessary additives and chemicals. If you're not sure whether or not a particular supplement is safe for you to take, consult with a healthcare professional. But, overall, it's important to avoid taking vitamins and supplements mindlessly, it's not worth the risk. 27. Living live on autopilot. It can be tough to break out of our comfort zones and live life on autopilot. But the negative effects of living life on autopilot can be far-reaching and disastrous. For example, if we're always running from one task to the next without taking the time to stop and relax, we'll eventually reach our breaking point. This is especially true if we're not getting enough sleep, our brain and body are unable to function at their best when we're exhausted. In addition, living on autopilot can also lead to mental health issues. If we're constantly running on empty, we'll become stressed and anxious. And if we're already stressed, that's not going to do any favors for our mental health. In short, it's important to take the time to relax and recharge, even if that means facing some challenging tasks head on. It's worth it in the long run. There you have it. 27 habits that are killing you slowly. If you recognize that you are following any of these, we recommend that you give up these toxic habits immediately. Wish you all the best.